So we're going to talk about leadership proactive characteristics. And specifically, if you're working for Integrity Capital, then by default, you're a leader. And you will be a leader. Uh, there's just no way around it while you're here. And you really say, well, what is Leader Day? Well, leader is someone who influences others to move in a particular direction. Hopefully positive, but that is the definition of a leader. So leaders influence such that others want to follow. That's the kind of leadership we're looking to foster in you. And so I just want to spend some time talking about the characteristics that we're trying to build within you as you work with our firm, as you grow to become a leader. So the first one is customer dignity delighting. So customer dignity delighting. So leaders look for ways to delight the client by anticipating their needs before they know it. That's a leadership characteristic that you're always thinking about how do I delight this client, stay ahead of him, show him or her things that they never even thought before, um, just going the extra mile. So this is a way that we call customer dignity delighting, looking for ways to serve, bless, proactively engage that characteristic. The second one is integrity and integrity. <laughs> Leaders have no shot at anything unless they have integrity, period. If you don't have integrity, you can't be a leader because people don't trust you, they won't follow you, and it's just an absolute must, especially working here, that you have to have integrity, you have to have character, you have to have honesty, otherwise no one will follow you and you won't be successful here. Number three is leaders are readers. I heard this years ago and I loved it, but it's true. Uh, the average CEO will read somewhere around 50 to 60 books a year. I'm not saying you have to read that many, but we are always looking to grow, educate, learn, read. So a, a leader, especially here, is going to be growing, reading, and they'll eventually be leading. So it's not just education for education's sake, but it's education and implementation. We want to learn and do. Otherwise, it's just stored up knowledge for nothing. Number four is be a wisdom seeker. So we're constantly seeking out wisdom, which leads to success. We're not thinking that we have all the answers, but we're going to the experts, looking for help, humbly asking so that we can grow in wisdom and knowledge. Number six is I own it. Uh, part of being a leader here is taking personal responsibility and grow from it and move on. We don't linger in our errors and camp there and play the shame game, but we just take personal responsibility here at Integrity Capital. When we're wrong, we're wrong, and we don't hide it. We just say, I failed, I was wrong, I need to move on and grow from it. So we call that in many ways successful failures here at Integrity Capital. Number six is reinvent and then reinvent again. Uh, leaders here are always looking for ways to reinvent new ways of being proactive. We're just looking for new tactical, strategic ways, uh, innovative ways to try to serve that customer better, to be more proactive, to really press the pedal down on that and just come up with innovative ways. So that's something that we just will continue to foster, continue to grow, and we expect you to do the same. Number seven is hire and develop the best proactive partners. We talk about this in our weld, winning proactive partnerships. But leaders look for the best people who are humble, <laughs> hungry, and smart. And then we just help them grow, period. So we are on the look always for those kinds of people. So as you're a leader, as you're growing, you're looking. You're dealing with people and you're thinking, that's the kind of person that would do really, really well here. And that's how we found some of you. 
and will continue to do so. So we hire, develop the best proactive partners. Number eight is run lean. So, you know, we're not the fanciest and have the most dazzling things around, but we invest wisely. So we keep expenses low. So, so why? We can give you more peace of mind. Uh, we can serve the client better and we can pour more resources into you and into being more proactive. So uh, you're always going to notice that we, we run lean. We don't have to have the flashiest things that don't matter, but we do invest heavily into things that do matter, people and technology that matters. Uh, number nine is get 70% and then run. Uh, so leaders want to get enough information, just enough, uh, but not stand still. They move. So we get enough data. Some people just like to get more and more and more and more and more, but it's uh, analysis by paralysis or paralysis by analysis. And so we just want to get enough information and then go and take action. Uh, number 10 is quick to listen, slow to speak. <laughs> Leaders, when there's conflict, and this is a challenge for me as well, will gather information before they speak too soon. You're going to run into conflict with clients from time to time. You're going to run even maybe in conflict internally. It's okay. That's part of life. But we want to be quick to listen, slow to speak. Number 11, be grateful. There's so many things to be grateful for, and leaders are always striving, uh, but they're thankful for what they have. So this is the idea of being content. So we're thankful and we're grateful for what we've been given, but we're still striving to grow. Number 12 is vision or perish. Um, leaders lock onto vision and they don't let go. You're going to notice that here. We have a vision to be the most proactive commercial mortgage company in the world and uh, we're not going to let go of that and so we have to have a vision or else we perish number 13 is problem solving leaders are excited about problems and they see them as opportunities to grow they don't see them as oh i got another problem to go through no it's an opportunity to grow to strive to thrive that's what makes you different as a leader here at Integrity Capital. And final, 14 is priorities. Leaders are disciplined about managing their priorities. Every day you're tasked with the challenge of priorities. Where are you gonna spend your time? And we can't control time, we can't manage time. It's going past whether we do it or not. But we can manage our priorities. So those are the 14 leadership proactive characteristics that we're going to form in you, that we expect you to start living out as you become a bigger leader here at Integrity 